goblet squat today. So first off, what goblet squat refers to is how you hold the kettlebell. So it's an anterior loaded squat, preferably done with a kettlebell, but you can also use a dumbbell for this exercise. So what you want to go ahead and do is grab the kettlebell by the horns, and you're either going to pull them apart to create tension or push them together. So that's going to do two things. It's going to help activate your core as well as activate the muscles of your upper back. Next up, you want to look at your foot position. Ideally, you want your feet just wider than hip width apart. This varies from individual, but that's typically what we want. Maybe a turnout of anywhere from 10 to 30 degrees. For the actual execution of the squat, we want to make sure that the pointy part of the elbows goes to the fleshy part of the knees, and you don't want the elbows going past the knees at all. So your hips can descend further if you have the mobility to, but the elbows stop once they reach the knees. So from there, the other thing that we want to think about is what's happening in your core. We want to keep your ribs set, anterior core engaged, and you want to think about actively pulling yourself down into your squat through your hip flexors. Before we do that, we also like to encourage you to take a breath of air in so that you're using a good abdominal brace as you descend into your squat. To come out of the squat, you're going to press into your heels, actively engage your glutes, and at the top of your squat, you should feel just like a plank. So that's something that you definitely want to practice and have a good position at the top. And the other thing that we're going to look at is a profile view and what's happening in the upper back. So you definitely want to maintain a neutral position through your upper back as well as through your pelvis. So as Chad goes ahead and extends into his squat, we're not going to see any shifting, any rotation of his pelvis, and he's going to maintain the upright posture through his thoracic spine or his upper back. So there are a few key points that you want to definitely pay attention to and work on throughout executing a goblet squat. 